Shepherd Sports Connection. I'm Sean O'Brien here with softball coach Leslie Lopez, assistant coach Daniel Easton, and uh, first year center fielder Bianca Biondio. And we're going to talk about the season so far and their expectations and everything. So uh, what do you guys expect for the season? This year we brought in a lot of newer kids. Uh, we have a lot of freshmen and pretty much our infields all new this year. So we're working through some kinks and trying people at different positions. So I think um, we're in a good position for March to start because that's the bulk of our season, March and April. So I think we're heading in a good direction currently. What are you, Danielle? Um, I would say definitely a 30-win season, mm -hmm. um, just kind of going off of last year and the success that they had. And our biggest goal would obviously be to win the conference tournament. Um, I'd have to agree. Uh, biggest thing is we brought in a lot of young talent, a lot of very athletic girls. So um, just trying to get the most out of them and trying to get the Act Championship have a winning season. And have you done anything in particular uh, to prepare for the home game on March 2nd? Anything different? I think we've changed a lot of things this year from our lifting to the mentality at practice and the demeanor at practice. I think this year the big goal is just the championship because this is our last year in our conference okay. before we switch conferences. The Mountain East, right? Yes. Um, anything to add to that, guys? Um, just pushing the intensity and accountability um, with the girls with being so young. Um, it's good to get that started early with them so by the time they're juniors and seniors it's an expectation and then you know they're pushing that on the younger kids as well mm -hmm. in the future um, and so you, it's your first season assistant coach um, how's that going for you so far um, it's going well it was a little bit tough at first just new group of girls change uh, but that's typical uh, now I feel like I'm making very good relationships with all the girls freshmen through seniors so mm -hmm. it's going well do you think being so young affects it at all um, at times it's difficult but at other times it makes it a lot easier as well because I can kind of relate. Mm -hmm. I'm not uh, too far out, so I kind of know, you know, the age, the generation, um, all that stuff. So You're not I guess it has, right. Mm -hmm. um, and Bianca, what are your expectations individually for yourself coming into Shepherd this year? Um, well, I'm actually a fourth year. I'm a fourth year, sorry, my bad. Yeah, so um, expectations, individual expectations, is obviously to produce the best season that I've ever produced, mm -hmm. and um, I really want to help the girls, all the freshmen, um, kind of set really high standards for themselves so that uh, by the time they get all the way through the program, they're going to be producing the, the best that they can. Mm -hmm. So. And what do you think like, helps you become a leader? Um, I guess just maybe experience, um, being comfortable, mm -hmm. um, kind of not being afraid to uh, verbalize what I think the girl should be doing. Um, just, a, just a lot of experience helps a lot, you know, being here for so long. And any big challenges you expect to face at all? Team-wise or personally? Uh, both. Um, Team-wise is uh, definitely getting all the girls, um, the experience on the field. Um, it, it, it's, it's a big jump, uh, high school to college ball and having a lot of the kids on the field being, um, coming from high school, that's gonna be kind of a big challenge for them, getting their confidence levels up, like they can take on these more experienced teams. Mm -hmm. um, that's gonna be a big challenge. And then um, personally, it's, all, it, you know, it's, it's always a mental game. It's mm -hmm. always, uh, you know, uh, put your errors aside and, and keep pushing on and try to be the best that you can be. Hello, I'm Suzanne Shipley, president of Shepherd University. Your journey to the unexpected starts now. At Shepherd, you can expect the attention of a private liberal arts college, the resources and programs of a comprehensive university, all at the cost of an affordable public education. Shepherd, unexpected. At Shepherd, expect more majors, more individual attention, more opportunities to explore cutting edge subjects, more hands-on experiences, more outdoor recreation, more championship athletics, more fun, and more possibilities. There's no better way to experience life at Shepherd University than to visit. Is Shepherd what you expected? And Coach Lopez, you mentioned the bulkier games are in March, when it gets really you know, nitty gritty. Uh, are there any games you had circled before the season? Um, I think that this year is a little bit tough just because we decided to take part in a lot of tournaments mm -hmm. and the weather hasn't been real great so far. So we've lost some games due to that, um, but we have spring break coming up. 
which will be tough because that's a lot of games in a short period of time, and then we're finishing up in Salem. Mm -hmm. Then we come home uh, for some home sets. So I think it'll be nice to go on the road and then be able to come back and have some home games right away. And our schedule's a little more spaced out, mm -hmm. so it's nice for the girls to have some rest days and things of that nature to get back on track. So no big rivals or anything coming up here? I think everything within conference this year is going to be a big deal just because it's the last year for it. Mm -hmm. And typically our big games are Wesleyan and Fairmont. Mm -hmm. Uh, anything to add there at all? Anything? No, um, the rivals, all that stuff's new to me being in the Wiviac. Um, you know, I came from the PSAC, so there's obviously teams that we always want to beat. Mm -hmm. And the girls, I think, when you ask them who they want to beat, they list just about everybody in the conference. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, what's the biggest difference with the PSAC and the Wiviac? Um, there's not really any difference. It's Division II. Uh, the Wiviac's actually a lot stronger now than it was in the past. Um, so that's exciting mm -hmm. for the West Virginia schools to start to take over. And how is the team chemistry? That's for everybody to answer. Um, honestly, in, in my four years, we this is probably the best that I've seen it. Um, on a personal level, we're all really close. Mm -hmm. and, um, <clears throat> but on the field, um, we're still kind of getting a feel for each other, you know, at, at positions and stuff. So um, that's going to be another obstacle. But personally, I've, I've never been so close to the girls before. So it's... Um, Having that my senior year is, is awesome, mm -hmm. being so close to all of them. And what would you guys say are the biggest strengths and weaknesses for this year's team? Um, yeah. I think uh, hitting is going to be a big strength of ours. We've produced some good numbers so far. As far as a weakness is concerned, I think it's just um, our defensive game, but I think that will improve with time, and I think it's just adjusting and figuring out uh, d depending on who's pitching, where people should be positioned and things of that nature and just kind of getting used to one another and kind of getting the team bond and ke team chemistry going while we're on the field I think will be detrimental at this point for us to accomplish. And Danielle, what do you think? Um, strengths for me would be how young we are and uh, the girls' willingness to learn. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's really big, and I think it's going to play a huge role in the future. And weaknesses would be the size of our roster at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, makes it kind of tough, which is moving people in and out, you know, pitchers. How big is the whole roster, actually? We're, we have 14 right now. 14, wow. Yeah, so just having to have our pitchers play positions. Um, it's a struggle, but I think it'll pay off in the end. Mm -hmm. Mm. And do you think there's like any uh, trouble with the depth at all since there's only 14? No, we right now we have a lot of girls that play multiple positions. Okay. So right now we're not struggling as far as, you know, not having this position or not having that position. Just when it comes down to it, you know, we play 50 games in a season, so injuries and girls getting tired and stuff like that. Um, but we should be all right. Let's see here. <laughs> And how do you think the team's adjusting since you're the new assistant coach? Uh, how do you think they're taking to you so far? Um, at first, I think it was a bit rough. Uh, I think I'm a lot different than their past assistant as far as intensity. And um, I demand a lot from them when they're at practice. Give me two hours is kind of what I ask. Um, but I think they're starting to get used to it. And I think we have a pretty good relationship now. I want to end off the field. Mm -hmm. Anything else you guys want to add for the whole, you know, for the whole season outlook and everything? Anything that we didn't touch on? Um, I, I think the only thing I would add is I think just with a small roster, it builds a lot of character for the girls and accountability. So it's kind of nice to see them grow as people with the accountability that we have because in the past we haven't had that option. And I think Danielle's brought a lot to our program in general, and I think they're responding really well to it. And I think it's all just a learning process. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably been the best move we've had to kind of be cohesive as a group in general. Anything else to add, guys? Um, I guess my biggest thing um, just to add is we always love, love when people come watch us play. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have a bunch. It's our home season this year. We're a good time. I think a there's like supports a way it. to get more people to come out at all? Um, um, I don't know. I mean... <laughs> As dumb as it sounds, I think social networking is probably our biggest uh, advertisement right now. Mm -hmm. But once the weather gets nice and we play all day long, we play double letters every time we play, so mm -hmm. it's a good time. We're fun. fun and do watch. you guys partake in any of the social interactions online at all to uh, help promote the team? We do. We have a Facebook page, and then also um, one of the guys in charge of athletics manages the Ram Nation page. And from all the attendance this year, I think all the sports have been improving mm -hmm. by far. 
all the numbers at basketball and football were a lot higher than what they were on average last year. So hopefully that holds true to the rest of the sports in the spring. There you go. Hope that you can feed off all those fans coming mm -hmm. in and everything. Mm -hmm. Have a good season. Uh, well, that's all I got for the Shepherd Connection, Sports Connection today. Uh, I want to thank everyone here for their time and uh, have a great day, everybody.